OK, so uh, I'm off now to try and explore the Statue of Liberty. So the first thing I'm going to do is get on the subway and it's one stop to where I can pick the ferry up. Uh, oh, here we are, Court Street subway. Let's cross that over. So this is where I've been staying uh, overnight uh, in Brooklyn. Really a lot of character around here as well. This is a very old part of New York, of course. And let's hope I can get this subway a bit bright. I managed to get here last night without any major issues. You're probably wondering what's going on. This isn't a usual 360 Timmy episode. I put this piece in because it's literally quite amazing. Within the first five minutes of my first day in New York, I was on the subway on my way to the Statue of Liberty, not quite sure where I was going. And I just happened to strike up a conversation with a guy who was curious about what I was doing, walking up and down the platform with uh, the camera on the pole. Um, and then he was curious about the make of the camera. And we got to chatting a bit more. And before you know it, something amazing happened. And suddenly I have a new friend in New York. And um, yeah, anyway. What's, what's, your, what's your name? Grant. Grant. Nice to meet you, Grant. I'm Tim. Uh, yeah, look up 360timmy.com. That's the podcast I do. Yeah. And if you fancy taking part in an episode, I'm here until Monday. So if yeah, you want to. Yeah, I'm around the Yeah. Oh, well, well, yeah. Do, you want, do you want to ping me an email? Maybe we'll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because. Yeah. 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 From an Aussie's perspective in, yeah, in really America. Cool. Yeah, yeah. For, I've been here over 11 years. My wife's American. So when, when are you free then? Um, I. Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Well, yeah, tomorrow okay. in the morning or Morning, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm. Um, I'm in between jobs. I'm saying your job on Wednesday. I'm boy here in Macy's, which is like the department store. Yeah. I've got to be in Man. I've got to be in Manhattan for twelve. That's the only thing. Oh yeah, it's half an hour from here. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends. Well, it depends where in Manhattan. Okay, uh, at Central Park. Uh, on a Sunday, you will get the. Yeah, you can get this. It'll take about forty-five. Okay. Yeah, but we can do it down here. All care. right, all right. I'll, I'll ping you. Just, just for fun. Um, just uh, which, which way do I go to get to Statue of Liberty? Is it this one? Yes. Oh, I'll, I'll come on with you then. I'll come. I'll, I'll carry on the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you want to get off at um, Whitehall. Yeah. There's the ferry there. Okay. The cool thing to do is just go on the Staten Island Ferry for free. It's a yeah. gorgeous day today. Yeah. So, go all the way out there. Yeah. Because And sit on the right side because you get, uh, you get the view of the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. And then you just get at the other end of your turn. It's free. It's right. like, it's, it's kind of fun. It's yeah. like one of those New York classic things to do um, that most tourists don't do, but some do. Yeah. Um, the lineup for the Statue of Liberty is a bit of a nightmare. Ellis Island is really cool. Yeah. Have you been to the Tenement Museum? I've never been to New York in my life. I only oh, got, I only got here last night. I'm, I'm here till I'm here till Monday. Gosh, yeah, it's a short trip. Oh time, my God, so. there's too many things. But I'll take any chips. Um, you know, don't do, don't go up the Empire State, go up the Rockefeller. I'm gonna do that stuff. Yeah, that's hopefully. a better one. Yeah. Are you in the museum and stuff? Or yeah. Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah, I might not have time for that. Yeah. Time. Well, yeah, I right, skip that then. Yeah. Um, time goes a waste of time. Yeah. I mean, you can go there and go, oh, this is crap. <laughs> yeah. Why don't I come here? The High Line's really cool. The High Line's on I've the... I've been told that's a good Yeah, one. that's yeah. really cool. Locals go there too. Yeah. And you go now for the hordes of people coming there. Because it's, yeah. it's not very wide. Yeah. Um, what else? And meatpacking districts around there. Yeah. So literally it was a meatpacking district. But now it's all the cool hip bars and the secret stuff. You know, I don't know. I can't, I don't get into those yeah. sort of places. I'm not cool or hip enough. Um, but meatpacking's pretty cool. Chel West Village, Chelsea's beautiful area. Like I said, it's the classic. You know, that's where all the movies are. The yeah. Brooklyn Heights, we get a lot of movies. Yeah. Uh, I can see that when you yeah. walk around it's every every corner. Yeah, so. yeah. The the opening scene. Did you watch the show Billions? Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. There's a, the opening. One of the opening shots is Paul Giamatti walking along there and the the the, 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 the poop on the on the thing. That's yeah. the promenade. Have you been? Oh, well, no, I no. I literally, I literally arrived last night. All right. So get that's, yourself, that's, out, that's get what yourself need to go. out to the promenade. Yeah. About, you know, sunset or before sunset. Yeah. Walk one day if you've got time. Maybe we can do this tomorrow morning. Yeah. Let's walk over the Brooklyn Bridge, but towards the city. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. you get a great view. If I can't do the morning, have you got an option in the afternoon? Yeah, I can. Pro I can probably do till I've got plans probably from about five thirty-six. Okay. I, I'm literally on 
So I'm literally block over. I'm Rem okay. I'm Remsen and uh, Henry. Because I think if I get this, I've got to do this one in Central Park because I've been arranging it. Oh, yeah, so yeah, if, yeah. I, if I finish that and come oh, straight look, back, and maybe you know we can... What? I haven't been in Central Park. I don't know. The leaves might be still all right. Okay. Up there. I wouldn't mind doing it around here, though. As you just... Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Let, let me ping you and try and get yeah, yeah, yeah. a future. I've got, I've got a lot of ideas. Yeah. Um, You've got limited time, and don't you don't want to? What you don't want to do is spend your whole time on the subway. Yeah. Because you don't see anything, right? No, exactly. New York is best uh, best observed walking. Yeah. And even if you just walk along the lower part of Broadway, or um, uh, you want to go up here. Yeah. Okay. I'll yeah. see you later. Yeah. Right. Off, right? Yeah, Cheers. Nice luck. to meet you, and uh, I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, of course. Cheers. <laughs> That's fun. I don't it, want to see that. It is, yeah. 360timmy.com. Yeah, yeah. Or on YouTube. No, it's, I'll the 360 Yeah, okay. It's got all the links to the all YouTube right, and all that. I might not be able to watch it. But, but, uh, yeah. Take care. Yeah. See you later. Oh, well, that was amazing. So uh, I've already got an interview, and uh, that was just from talking to someone at the subway. So this is fantastic. So I've just got off of this stop, which... Uh, I was told where it was before, but I didn't know which train to get on, so uh, the, the Grant helped me get that. So we'll just walk off now and get that Staten Island Ferry you talked about. That's brilliant. Uh, hey everyone, well this is quite unique. Um, welcome to 360 Timmy, and uh, my guest today is Grant Turley, who I met the other day on the, on the subway yeah. in Port Street, who gave me great advice about going to Coney Island. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to do a story about an Englishman in New York, but Grant's Australian, so we're going to turn that right on its head. Uh, so Grant, you've been here quite some time. You've yes. had a long relationship with New York. Where did it start? Um, first came in 2007. So just prior to the financial crisis, I actually came here for a, a finance job of all things. Um, and it was crazy crazy uh markets i was actually a foreign exchange trader believe it or not um and we were a customer of some of the banks that failed and i also don't want to um and we were dealing with guys from bear stearns and lehman's and they were there one okay. day and they were gone the next yeah um we were also uh every day our head office was in sydney and we get new instructions don't deal with that counterparty don't talk to them uh which made it very confusing for us because all of a sudden uh all of a sudden the cuss the uh, counterparties would go why aren't you talking to us anymore and we couldn't say we're not allowed to say it's co it confidential so um yeah i managed to get the the peak of the craziness, um, I was working till mid-2009, so basically March, you know, and every day was like a roller coaster. Uh, announcements, the Fed this, the Fed that, the government's going to do that, banks failing, um, and it was exhilarating. It's, it, 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 it's, it's like being in a casino, but it's not a casino because you're getting hit with all this random stuff that you don't necessarily anticipate um i'm keeping an ear out for your order no i agree i, I keep looking I, 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 me too i'm hungry um so it was a lot of fun and um when i first came here i didn't know anybody other than my work colleagues and we would we'd hang out on friday night but saturday night i just do whatever and it was great because you get you i think the mindset i brought was i was only going to be here for sort of three years so you write yourself a list. What do you want to do? Where do you want to go? Not just New York, but in America in general. And as a result, I think I've probably seen more of America than most Americans. Because, um, you know, you, for, uh, you force yourself to go and do things because you go, all right, I've only got a certain number of weekends. I also have to share that time with my colleagues and they want to do things and, and whatever so we had to sort of coordinate but i went to the you know the grand canyon i went to yosemite i went to arcadia national park america has the best national park and it's a, such a nice change from the city which is all about people and intensity and noise and the energy yeah. I mean, new york is all about the energy so you either it can be exhilarating and lift you up but it can tear you down it's a harder place to live um, so you explained earlier that yeah. you were here when it was the kind of New York I remember from the oh, 80s yes. when it was a bit, you know, Oh yeah, I, I was here pre-Giuliani yeah. as, a, as a backpacker, in fact, and we stayed with a friend down in Soho, which is now all ritzy and glamorous. 1195. Uh, 1195. Yes. Hey. 
<laughs> yes. Yes. Finally. And uh, a large coke. Large coke as well, please. Yeah. Now yeah. yeah. So uh, just for the benefit of the camera we're in, Macy's McDonald's at the moment, <laughs> waiting for Grant's order. He's, <laughs> he's kindly given me some time uh, in his lunch hour. We've come to this McDonald's. <laughs> we thought it was going to be quick. Yeah, it has yeah, not been quick. Uh, I lost the order. Yeah. But anyway. Um, so yeah, pre Giuliani, and so we stayed in a literal uh, New York loft yeah. in Green Street, which is now one of the most exclusive streets. Probably like millions and millions of pounds oh, yeah. of dollars now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. thank you. Yeah. And um, so let's walk and talk, I suppose. Oh, no, 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 no. Sit, sit down. Sit down. Uh, let's see if we can find somewhere. Yeah. And um, he, her father, her father. Uh, nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Yeah, I know. This is the other problem. All right. Um, let, oh, no. Someone's oh, bagged. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Uh, how about... Oh, yeah. We could go out. Do you want to go outside and sit, sit and eat, maybe? Yeah, very Let's quickly. Let's do that. Very quickly. What's the time? Oh, oh shit. I've got about 10 minutes left. Okay. Um, I'll get you to hold that. Okay, yeah. No worries. Yeah. So, basically, if we go to this corner... Yeah. So, yeah, pre-Giuliani, loft... Uh, you know, it was an artist area back then. Um, there were people sleeping in the doorways. Like, and my, the person we were staying with was saying, don't look at anybody on the subway. Keep your head down. Yeah. You can't go to Harlem. All the things, because we wanted to go to all the places we've seen in the movies. And she's just going, no, no, you can't go there. Yeah. You can't do that. I mean, you still had all the classic museums and we did all the touristy things. But it was it was seriously scary, and coming from Australia, I was I was kind of concerned. And moreover, when I got offered the job to come to New York, I was kind of told to come to New York. I didn't actually get much of a choice. I was going, mm, I'm not so sure. I've been a couple of times, and well, that's, I, that's it for me because this is my first weekend yeah. in New York, and I was expecting similar actually yeah. I mean, you know, yeah no but, no it's it's completely different yeah, and then people is, people yeah. people especially prior to the pandemic people used to say well new york's dangerous because there's a whole narrative in the politics here in certain parts of america that big cities are dangerous i feel safer here than in most places yeah it's a little sketchier on the subway these days now there are more mental health uh, I have seen, so yeah, yeah. I've been and, there many times, because my first yeah. trip was when I saw you yeah. on Saturday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, I think I've seen twice, yeah. I mean, you... So a lot of problems with mental health. Yes. And the other thing that's changed is, did you recall the George Floyd, Floyd yes. Uh, protest? Yes. All right. So the cops here, if they don't get enough love from the people, they kind of, they give up. Yeah. And one of the things they've given up on is enforcing mental health and... You get street sellers now in Canal Street, where all the fake stuff is sold, and also it's also resulted in it's also resulted in all the goods being locked up behind the counter, which, yeah. is, which is all new. Yeah. And a lot of places are shutting down, like uh, pharmacies. There used to be so many pharmacies, like a ridiculous number around me. I had like a six in, a, in about a three block radius. Same companies, it made no sense. But people, they used to lose so much to theft that they just decide it's not worth it anymore. And so everything's going online and mail order, but even that stuff gets stolen. Yeah. You know, so, so you're going back a little bit to the sort of 70s and 80s. Well, yeah, well, so see, we, well, we've had a dormant, I live in a dormant building, like, and the benefit, I think the tradition of that is really because to keep the riffraff out. Yeah. These days it's really, except Amazon packages. Yeah. And Uber's, Uber's. Yeah, and Uber's, and Uber's, and Uber's, and Uber's. Back in the old days, it was literally dormant, as in keep yeah. keep the the sketchy people out, and um, so it's I got I never had that in Australia. I never had to think about any of this stuff. Yeah, it was a whole new experience for me, kind of, and I and I I feel a bit weird that people would observe me coming and going to my own residence, especially if I had a few lagers on a on a, on a Friday night, you know. Possibly. Um, I'm just thinking, possibly Macy's have the slowest lifts at McDonald's. Yeah, they in, do. In the city. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. <laughs> We're fine. I had to wait ten minutes to come up here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we'll probably the, we'll probably get the All Stops Express now. Yeah. But um, 
Well, I was going to say, I don't, like I said, I'm leaving in a couple of days. I don't really care. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, what was the point I was going on? Yeah, so it's it's sort of like I've seen an evolution from pre Giuliani where it was really scary. Yeah. To prior to, to the pandemic where it was amazing, like safe. Oh, wow, we did well. Um, and then post George Floyd, post pandemic. Yeah. The attitude of the cops is just so. They let all the stuff that they used to crack down on go. Yeah. Jumping to turn to get into the subway. That was the. I've seen that a bit actually. Yeah, yeah so that was that. the Giuliani yeah. thing, right? It was yeah. called broken windows policing. And what that meant was, you, he, the theory was that the people that would do that sort of stuff were probably up to other things. Yeah. So you could get them on, I don't know if we can go this way, to be honest. All right, we'll go through those things. Oh. <laughs> oh. This could be interesting. <laughs> yeah, I can You're a good man. Dog. This is 360 um, Timmy's never done this before. No, that's all right. Yeah. We're going to sit go, down go over sit here. Down so you can eat your lunch. Yeah, yeah. That's, the, uh, um, that's the important thing. So this is Macy's on 30. Yeah, and this Street. is the Christmas window. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the things they, Giuliani's theory was that if you found the people jumping the turnstiles in the subway, you could arrest them. And then you could find out all the other stuff they'd done, right? Yeah. So I, I want to sit somewhere. So yeah, yeah. Uh, well, away from the music. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was gonna say, yeah. And um, so that's how they. And then they did the stop and frisk, which is no longer, it's you know frowned upon. And uh, you know, America talks about being the freest country in the world. I don't buy that at all, honestly. I mean, it's it's in some ways it's more of a police state. And I think the other thing is. They under-trained the, the policemen, right? So I personally think a lot of the problems they have with shootings, at least in part, is they're all ex-military guys, so ret you know, they're retired out of the military, yeah. right? You're a grunt, you get a certain point, you need a second job for the rest of your career. And well, police is very attractive. They typically have good pensions, but they're used to dealing with people in a mil militaristic way. Yeah. Unlike Australian police or British police, where they treat you as a person and you know there's not the automatic um mindset that the other person's got a gun and they're out to get you so and there's always a presumption that if a, a, a cop pulls a gun pretty much on any it doesn't matter what circumstances at least this is my observation i'm not i can't say i do this all the time they if they shoot someone and they kill them the jury's are always going to let them off yeah and, and so it, it ends up being a ridiculous situation where, like, there was an Australian woman who was in Minnesota, this is a couple of years ago, and she went up to approach a police car to report something. She was happened to be in her night dress or something, apparently, and they shot her. They thought she was, and she had a phone in her hand, and they got off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I, I think I've just been given the wrong order <laughs> after all that. Anyway, what have you got? I don't know, a quarter pounder or something. Anyway, whatever. It's a good solid piece of meat, though. Yeah, that's it? true. So I'm going um, to let you eat a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so I, I probably just described. So, uh, so I met you on Court the, Street. Uh, Court Street. In that's Pittsburgh. where I live. That's where you live, yeah. Yeah. And uh, you gave me some great advice. Yes. To go to get on the Coney Island ferry free. Oh yeah, I yeah, did. yeah. Uh, um, Staten uh, Island ferry. Staten Island. Sorry. Yeah, Coney Staten Island. Island. Staten Island. Oh, Staten... Wow. Yeah, Staten yeah, Island. No, yeah. that's really good. Staten yeah. Island ferry. That was good. Um, mm. I took your advice and got on the right side. The only trouble was the ferry I picked wow. didn't have a deck going out, so I, right. I waited an extra half an hour to come back. But that was great advice. But my, you know, my. Uh, what I, my perception of New York is, you know, as we described, is yeah. I, I was expecting the the kind of equaliser of the 80s, where, no. where 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 it was graffiti and trouble. It's not. It's it's clean. Everyone's been very friendly. Yeah. Uh, as you mentioned, yes, I have seen uh, a few mental health issues on trains. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you you're on a, you're on a carriage and someone gets in there, they're they're shouting into the air. They're getting quite agitated. They or you get people sleeping. On yeah. the seat. I have seen that. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I on, on really on cold days. Really hot or really cold? Yeah. Because there's air condition, so that's what they tend to do. Yeah. Um, allegedly, we have our cops in the subways checking bags and. I have seen some patrols. Yeah, but, but seen well, bags you know, stuff. mostly what they're doing is they're on their phone. Yeah. And they stand around groups and just talk, because the cops get paid incredibly well. Uh, it's hard to get in. It's almost impossible to get kicked out, and the pension's great, and so there's a huge and and there's. 
Uh, like, it's interesting. Irish Americans seem to be a huge contingent, and there's, I think, there's other ethnicities. Yeah. And they all, a lot of them actually don't live in the city. They live outside the city and come in. Yeah. Um, but it's sort of like one of those things. You're in the club, and other people get you in the club. Normally, the club's open to everybody, but in reality, it's not open yeah. to everybody. Um, but I, mean, I, I am a bit of an example of security. I, I, uh, I went to a couple of Irish bars the other night, mm -hmm. uh, and only one, um, myself and my friend went in, we mm -hmm. were frisked, right? And then, but what I found- You were frisked? Frisked, yeah, but the irony was- We never get, I never get frisked. No, no this, is, this is what I thought was unusual. And the irony was, mm -hmm. I had a backpack on me, mm -hmm. they didn't even check in the back. <laughs> so, so it was a little crazy. I think we literally went in and went out for that one, and went across Sorry. the- Across the street to a really nice. Don't apply logic to anything in America. No, no, this because, is true, yeah. For example, the whole TSA thing, right? Security theatre. It, 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 the people aren't paying enough. They don't really care. I don't think they've ever stopped anybody. I mean, I don't know. We, we I only can compare to Australia. We do the same scanning and things like that, but we don't do the take your shoes off and all that. Yeah. I mean, I have. I know how all the um free checks and all the extra stuff so I pay for it so I don't have to do any of that stuff but it's still I don't know it's locked into the system now so it's a it's a it's a time cost to people every day I mean yeah. that's the you know they obviously did a lot of destruction when they blew up the World Trade Centers and they're incredibly sad but what it's done is for the next perpetual we will have these security checks and whether they actually do anything is debatable but you can't there's a whole mindset here, right? Yeah. Both sides of politics are willing to spend on military yeah. and police. And then you start going, do we want social services, the Democrats? Yes. Republicans? No. Yeah. That's that's literally what it comes to. They can do military. Everybody, got to have a strong military, got to have eight, ten aircraft carriers. I don't know. But, you know, maybe in these times it's, it's it makes sense, right? You know, you got all the... Maybe China's going to hit Taiwan tomorrow. We don't know. But the way uh, it's going at the moment. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like you said, actually. Yeah. G Gili Rudy Giuliani cleaned up this city. Yeah. And, it, and he was a, a mayor to be mm -hmm. admired. Yeah. And now he's the guy that is uh, is being parodied and in court and uh, <laughs> his hair dye is <laughs> running on TV and, and, and all that and, stuff. And, and, and... and DJT leaves destruction in his way. Yeah. He seems to be Teflon Don, but all the other people. Pay for it. Pay for yeah, it. Yeah. Or worse than him. Which is the extraordinary that he's got away with this his whole life. It may be catching up with him. It's, yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Well, it'd be an interesting uh, year ahead, wouldn't it? So, uh, mm. uh, so uh, you, you're, you're here for the long term, I take it. At times, I... Especially during the pandemic, I thought about going home. But Australia made it so hard to get home. Yeah. That, oh, yes, they were very... Yeah, yeah. like, it was very expensive. Um, I went home for uh, six months afterwards. Um, so I've had my fill of Australia for a while, but, you know, I miss... I miss the food, I miss the people, I miss... But I mean, every country's got its good and bad things, right? So you try and maximise the good and minimise the bad. Um, I find the weather, the winter here, difficult. Yeah. The rest here is fine. It's just four months. If I could, if I was rich enough and I could have a Florida or somewhere warm, it'd be fine. I know, I know say, saying from the UK, this is something. I mean, I left a very wet UK, but it was not, it wasn't that cold, but this is, right. uh, this is November and wow. it, it is actually freezing to the boat oh, yeah. kind of thing. It's... And, and the thing is, we, we get a damp cold here. Yeah. As opposed to, I ski and I can go to minus 10 out in Colorado or whatever. Yeah. And it's, you go, oh, wow, the beautiful crisp mountain air. Minus 10 in New York is your face is freezing. It's about to fall off. Your hands are frozen. It's just the dampness the, of the air that makes it really unpleasant. And so the subway, which is too hot in summer, suddenly becomes quite attra <laughs> yeah. attractive in winter because it's all heated um, or they don't really have air conditioning down there. Um, so it's, you get a lot of homeless people camping out there. Yeah, but it, it's, it, and you always have the great ability to ignore people. Yeah. Which is sad in some ways, but in, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It's sort of like, in any other city, or certainly I think Australia, UK, 
people would be concerned about someone lying in the gutter here. Yeah. People here can walk past. I... Uh, have you ever been to San Francisco? Not recently. Um, I, went, I went a couple of years ago and I was absolutely shot there. Oh, yeah. On an oh, epic, didn't work. On epic scale. I think, I believe a lot of homeless people were transferred from Atlanta for the game, from the games and dropped off in Yes, Francisco. yeah, well, that's actually, and that's it's... what Giuliani did too here. Oh, was it? Yeah, Ooh. I'm told he bust people out to Jersey. And, okay. Yeah, so you, it, or you give them enough money or one-way ticket down to Florida or, yeah. or somewhere else, right? That's my understanding. I don't. I don't claim to be an expert. Interesting. No, but that's, that certainly yeah. seemed to be the case in yeah. San Francisco. And, and the irony is, mm. obviously, like New York, mm. it's where all the money of America is. Mm -hmm. And you're seeing. I mean, I saw 14-year-old kids begging for begging for food, and mm -hmm. and, and uh, you know, uh, like homeless America, people. They can be cruel to fellow Americans. Yeah. In a way that I've never seen in any other culture. And what I mean by that is this mindset that unless you're a value add to society or you're a productive member, so that everything's about jobs and, and whatever. If you can do a job, okay, you can have health care. Yeah. But if you don't, you're just a drag on society. And that's certainly true of one party over the other. And I'm going, I don't know. I see social security as a cost of doing business to have a civil society. Yeah. Because we go to Florida, uh, my wife and I, and my family, uh, the, her family lives in a gated community down in Florida. And we were looking at buying down there and her parents are going, oh, you need to you need to get into a gated community. And I'm going, I've never lived in a gated community. I don't need to live in a gated community. I don't feel, there's a default here for Americans, I think, that people they don't know they default to the idea that they're um, they're going to threaten them, that they're unsafe. Whereas I think certainly for Australians, we like to give people the benefit of doubt until proven otherwise. Yeah. Like we approach people in a friendly nature. Here, it's been drilled into them. It's unsafe, and this is the whole gun culture. Yeah. Um, you need to protect yourself. I don't. I don't feel I need a gun. I've lived here for 13 years, and this is allegedly the roughest and yeah. it's not the roughest city in America. And, you know, if you listen to Fox News, they'd say everybody should have a concealed carry. I don't need a gun. I mean, I, there's an occasional crazy person on the subway, but I can walk down the other end of the platform yeah. or, get well, the, or get in the next carriage. That's, which is what I did the other day, and another, yeah. another passenger when it happened. But, you know, it's, yeah, uh, I, I, yeah you just, I, I would say I, yeah. I feel safer here than I do in London, to be honest with you. Yeah. No, it, yeah, it, it's so. not. Look, we're, you know, we've got this beautiful plaza out yeah. here. Yeah. Um, people are happy. Streets are um, clean. There seems to be every shop seems to be open, not boarded up. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. No, I, I mean there are. I could tell you to go. I could point out to you if you're here for long. I would. I could tell you areas to go where it's not quite so yeah. salubrious. But there's no. There's no. Even talking about going back to pre Giuliani, we went up to Harlem. Like so, our friend. We we happened to be here for Christmas, and our friend who lived here. My, my, we watch movies, Harlem, we want to go see it. And she's going, there's no way you get, I'm letting you go up to Harlem. As a surprise, she hired a driver to take us and drive us along 125th Street, which yeah. is like the main road. I go up there all the time now. But back then, she had to bribe the guy. Oh, to drive to, through it. To drive through it. Because it was considered so scary and sketchy. That you could get robbed at the at the traffic, uh, you know, the, the yeah. traffic lights, and or your hubcap would be stolen. So, you know, the change in New York, and you know, you got to give Giuliani, Giuliani credit for what he did. I, I'm not sure how he got to where he is now, but you know, it's certainly. Um, and I suppose, I suppose, like all successful politicians, when they're in too long, yeah, they start believing their own press, and mm -hmm. it goes horribly wrong. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's it's a interesting story. I mean, I guess even Donald Trump, I, I know he he wasn't perhaps so uh, so uh, controversial back in the day, was he? Even yeah, uh, he was making cameos in Home Alone, things like that. And, yeah, uh, I mean, he was. He's, you know, he, he was always a showman, right? And The Apprentice, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah and he got a lot of yeah. stuff for that. Yeah, you know, the reality is he's a failed businessman. He, he yeah. lost lots of casinos and he, you know, and, and, and overvalued his building, uh, as, we're, as we're finding out at the moment um, in court. Yeah. It was his father that made all the money. Yeah. The father was the one who did successfully. Um, the kids are trying. I don't know if they're any good, but 
He's very good at being a showman. And America loves a showman. Yeah. It always has, always will. You know, I mean, the, the, the way that the reverence is given to a president here and respect that Australians and UK people of the UK, Brits would... We would never give them the same. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, at all. I think there's only one, isn't there? Winston yeah. Churchill. And, and, mm. and it, well, mm. some would argue even mm. at recent, after the war, he, he didn't right. have the respect of... Right. Oh, he, he does in, in he the history. He got ditched history. pretty quickly. Yeah, he did. You know, yeah. so it's sort of like, we have a, such a different scepticism about politicians and, and their relationship. But here, yeah, you know, go, go on and comparing presidents and that president. And, and I mean... I, I, I appreciate their love for their country. the country. Yeah. The, the patriotic nature of Americans is kind of um, inspiring in some ways, but a little scary in others because it means, I think as we discussed earlier, that if you're told from the minute you grow up that you're in the best country in the world and everything is the best here, which it certainly isn't, anybody that's travelled, and all well, my friends are well-travelled America, New Yorkers, they know it's not the best. But it's the 95% of people who don't have a passport and never gone anywhere yeah. and have no interest in going anywhere. And because uh, the vacation that they or the holidays they get for their work is two weeks, they don't want to get on a plane and you know go down to Australia. It takes too long. Yeah. So um, it's a very blinkered view of the world. And in their mind, they're very good at some things, but you get extremes, extreme poverty, extreme wealth. Uh, you funny relationship to alcohol, funny relationships to sex, funny relationships to, uh, to guns. You know, there's a lot of only in America things. Yeah. And some of those things are amazing. And I, you know, so I, when I say I have a love hate relationship with America, it, I mean, I have an American wife, so I mean, like, I, I don't hate it, but I hate aspects of it. The, the gun culture, is, I've never been, been comfortable with, um, but I don't feel the need to have a gun here. I feel safe. Have you gone for citizenship? I could. Yeah. Uh, I haven't, because they're the only country in the world other than Zimbabwe that has global taxation, uh, wherever you are. So yeah. if I went back to Australia, I'd have to do two tax returns, and the American tax return is incredibly painful. So yeah. um, we debated about it during the last presidency. Yeah. Because we're going, they may change the rules, or... But you know what? The only benefit I would ha get from it, really, was if I was about to commit a crime, I couldn't get deported. And yeah. I'm not about to commit a crime, no. so... <laughs> I don't know. I'm quite happy with my Australian passport. It gets me in just as many places as the rest, as, as the American one. If arguably, probably more places where we, we, we fly under the radar a little bit, so... Um, well, I'm very conscious of your. You've got to get back. Yeah. To so Grant, thank you very yeah. much. It was great meeting you on yeah, the first yeah. day. You gave me some great advice. I've, yeah. made, a, I've made a friend now. And, yeah. Uh, no, thank we'll, you. Very, thank we'll you very much. Touch. Yeah. All right. Uh, very, but thank you very much. I better run. Uh, see you soon. Off yeah. Yeah. Go. All Take right. Care. Thank you. Cheers. I'm going to leave this here.